Hey, what is up guys? Klaus next here and welcome to another episode of Fitness Gimmick Friday, the show where we rip apart some fitness gimmick people seem to believe works. Today we're going to be talking about waist trainers. That's right. This is an episode for the ladies or, or for guys. If that's, that's how you roll and you want to use a waist trimmer, that's fine too. Okay, so what is a waist trainer? A waist trainer is this piece of material that's flexible. You wrap it around and it cooks together in the front and it's supposed to suck all your fat in and give you this nice, sexy, trimmed waist looks. It's something that people use when they want to look thinner. It's something that they use as an alternative to fat loss. And many people believe that it actually helps you with weight loss. So that's what we're talking about today. So how does the waist trimmer work? Well, you strap one on and you leave it on for like eight hours, which seems like a crazy long time to suck your gut in. It basically sucks everything and it makes it really tight. And it kind of gives you that hourglass figure. And how it does this is when you make it tight, it moves the fat that's around your gut, it's around your side, you know, third wheel, the love handles, muffin top. It just kind of pushes all that fat somewhere else. It's kind of like putting a big old band-aid on your fat loss problems. Is that fat actually leaving your body? Nope, it's just moving somewhere else, essentially. Then you take the waist trimmer off and the fat just goes right back to where it was. So the whole idea is that you train yourself using this thing and over time your body begins to reshape. Now that is going to be incredibly difficult. But first let's talk about some of the pros of the waist trimmer. One, it can improve your figure. Two, same thing, can shorten your waist size. Three, it's supposedly not dangerous. I don't know why that's a pro. I just feel like I had to include that because you're kind of sucking all your organs in and it just, just seems very wrong. It seems very unnatural for your body to squeeze everything in tight but there's no studies or evidence really to suggest that it's dangerous for you because we're not talking about corsets here we're talking about waist trimmers they're a little more flexible so it's a little safer for your body another pro is that it can improve your posture right if you've got something tight around your waist it's going to keep your lower portion of your spine erect which is going to keep your posture good or basically it's just going to be really hard to hunch it's going to be really hard to slouch also i found out that you can get some of the same benefits that you would get from a weight belt with a waist trimmer so kind of engaging your core and you know you kind of probably know how i feel about lifting belts at this point i think that they're good for training and depending on what your goals are but not good because you shouldn't want to take your abs out of the equation if you can avoid it but still kind of cool they share the same benefits and another pro that i found kind of interesting is that people are saying it's really good because it's sucking your gut in and then when you're eating food you feel like you can't eat anymore because your stomach's being squished i feel like that's really bad i don't know like Sure, it can be good for someone to tell you, hey, stop eating, I can't stretch anymore. But like, that seems kind of like an odd way to stop yourself from eating. If you just had a little bit of willpower, you would just not eat seconds instead of having something literally squeezing your stomach, telling it to stop eating. It just seems kind of like maybe an unhealthy way to track your hunger. Just having a little bit of self-awareness might save you from wearing a waist trimmer for eight hours. Okay, so let's talk about the cons. And the cons, just they just come right to the surface when we talk about how the product works. It squeezes everything in. Now, your organs are super slippery and they're kind of made to move around and adapt to different situations that your stomach is in, right? It's like a self-protection thing, but it's not super ideal for anything in your body to be squeezed for a long period of time. Now, they're supposedly safe, which is, you know, sure, that's fine but it's not really great for you to take on a fat loss approach by squeezing the fat and pushing it somewhere else because that fat's still there. Your genetics are still there. Like where you store fat, depending on whether you're a male or female or like people store fat differently on their bodies. So people who store it around their torso and their third wheel area, I especially store it in my third wheel, I could use a waist trimmer. It's gonna be very hard for people who store fat there to eliminate it that way because it's just going somewhere else. So even if your body does get used to the waist trimmer and it does hold that form, as soon as you stop using it, your body's essentially gonna revert back to the way that it was designed. It's just genetics. It's just really hard to fight your own genetics. So it's kind of a bad approach to fat loss. In my opinion, you should be working towards breaking down your fat and keeping your fat off your body permanently instead of relocating it. You might be able to temporarily reshape your figure, but that doesn't train you into a healthy lifestyle, right? For a waist trimmer to work, you probably need all the other factors to work too, right? You need to improve your diet and you need to work out probably in addition to the waist trimmer. I doubt that the waist trimmer alone is going to get you the body that you want. Because even if you're using the waist trimmer and let's say the waist trimmer is working, you can still out eat it and your waist trimmer is going to have to fight super hard to hold those little buckles together while you stuff your face and your gut keeps getting bigger. So the waist trimmer alone is not a solution. 
Another con, which I found interesting, is that while I was looking into this, I found out that it has similar effects to when you have a cast on your body. So when you have a cast, like let's say on your arm, it's there for months, you remove the cast, your arm's a little bit smaller, right? It kind of shrinks, the muscles kind of shrink. That's because the muscle atrophies, which means it's not in use. So it kind of shrinks a little bit, it loses a bit of its ability and its performance. Supposedly the same thing happens to your ab muscles when you have this wrapped around. You're kind of shrinking and squeezing the ab muscles for long periods of time and for the waist trimmer to work you have to be using it for like eight hours a day every single day like you have to be super committed for it to work that is a long time you're essentially putting a cast around your ab muscles so while yes it's kind of like a weight belt it can kind of support your posture and your core strength i always say you shouldn't be dependent on a weight belt because as soon as you take it off you're still stuck with your abs and your core strength when you leave the gym. Same thing applies to a waist trainer. So if you're using it for eight hours a day, your body might start to become dependent on that for its posture and for its core strength. I find that kind of sketchy to put on a waist trimmer and yeah, sure you look good, but your ab muscles are dissolving away underneath it. That doesn't sound very good to me. Maybe I'm exaggerating, I don't know. It just sounds scary. Another con I think worthwhile mentioning is that you can get addicted to it like you can anything else. Anything else that you think is providing a temporary solution to a temporary problem that you have in your life. When you use something every single day for many hours a day, it can be hard to go without it. So if you're used to wearing a waist trimmer to every single event you go to, why would you work harder to lose fat and exercise more if the waist trimmer is doing the job, right? Maybe you're someone who has a pretty average metabolism and you don't have trouble maintaining where you're at. Why would you ever not wear the waist trimmer? And if you're wearing it for eight hours a day, you're gonna psychologically become dependent on it. So that being said, I can see where an addiction could definitely come into play and you might have a hard time learning to live without it. In conclusion, I think that waist tremors are kind of a big middle finger to your genetics. Looking at your body, looking at what you got and just slapping a big bandaid on it and saying, okay, now you look better, you know? And then I don't think that it's, it's fine that people say, Oh, well, you know, it's like anything. It doesn't come easy. You have to practice it. You have to put it on every single day. It's a big commitment. Yeah, that doesn't make it right. That doesn't make it a good solution because you have to work hard at it for a long time. It's still not a great solution. It still doesn't train a healthy lifestyle. It still doesn't encourage you to eat the right foods and do enough exercise. It sounds to me like that's a way of avoiding doing those things. It's just literally strapping something to your body so you don't have to do any work. And sure, it might be good for like one night out, now and then, you're trying to fit into a certain dress for a night out. You know, I don't see any harm in kind of wearing it for a night. You're gonna be uncomfortable, but why not? Your body's not gonna take any kind of damage. You're not really at risk for wearing a flexible piece of material around your body for a night. Sure, go nuts. But if you're depending on that for a figure that you want, um, you're using it as a fat loss shortcut. But who knows, you know, maybe maybe I'm jealous. Maybe I just maybe I just want a waist trainer because I struggle with losing fat around my waist. Maybe that's why I started this whole YouTube series. I don't know. But in my opinion, I think this is a fat loss shortcut, making it a fitness gimmick. This fitness gimmick has been gutted.